Welcome. In front of me is Soyo uh, M4 Pro Mini PC and in this video I will guide you through the setup process of this computer. So at the beginning of the installation, if you don't have the, to choose the language for your device, uh, then uh, just select a country or region and then click yes to confirm. Uh, then you're gonna have to select the right keyboard layout or input method for your computer. And once you choose the one that you need, click yes. And if you need a uh, and another one just click add layout right here and proceed by, uh, by adding a new uh, layout keyboard layout for your computer then just click next and uh, go to the further step otherwise uh, click sk skip after that you're gonna have to connect to a network and if you just reinstalled your windows on this computer then you're gonna need to in uh, install the network adapter for it or just use an ethernet cable instead so if you don't have an ethernet cable we're gonna need uh, to download the network adapter if you don't see any networks on if you don't see the list of the networks right here and to do that you're gonna need a usb uh, flash drive so grab yourself one and uh, in and uh, the other one uh, the other thing that you're gonna need is a different pc with internet connection on it so uh, just make sure that you have one and uh, let's proceed by inserting our USB flash drive into that different PC and let me show you the following steps of how you can uh, install the drivers. Okay, so here's the screen of a different PC that I'm gonna be using for this operation. Now, as you can see, we got uh, the USB flash drive right here. Uh, we can close it for now. And now what we're gonna need to do is uh, find the drivers for this uh, computer's uh, network card. And this is one of the most obscure things I've done in my life, but uh, if it works, you don't, you don't fix it. So uh, let's search for HP support, uh, uh, HP, uh, HP dri driver support website and we're gonna find the official hp drivers and software download uh, website open it uh, then select a laptop right here then uh, into this field uh, enter this uh, very uh, the very same uh, serial number uh, 9r8d6ua and then find the hp uh, pavilion laptop with the same, uh, uh, I don't know what 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 it is. It's either a model name or a, uh, a model number or a serial number. But uh, either way, just enter this uh, this number. Then identify and select your operational system. In my case, it's Windows 11. Uh, then uh, it's version 24 H2. Click submit. Then go to driver uh, to network dri uh, driver network. Then find the real tag serious wireless LAN drivers, click download, then wait until the drivers are downloaded, open the downloads folder, then uh, select these drivers, use Ctrl X to cut them out of here, then enter your USB flash drive and paste this driver right here, and then uh, at this po point the process is done, so you just can just uh, eject the USB flash drive and let's return back to, to the computer. Uh, to the Soyo computer. Okay, so now once we're back, we're gonna need to insert the USB flash drive on which we uploaded uh, the driver into this computer, into any USB port. Okay, and once you ins insert it there, uh, you have to use the combination of shift and uh, shift button and F10. At the same time, just press shift and F10 and you'll see this window on your screen. Now, what you're gonna have to do is select it and input D uh, column, press enter to switch to the D disk. Now, uh, search for DIR uh, and 
you have to find this file uh, named sp uh, something dot x uh, exe uh, and if you don't see it here then you can change the letter to maybe e colon uh, then uh, again input there and uh, press enter once again and then uh, while well, in e there is uh, there is no uh, well as you can see in, in e we have some readme file and uh, some other kind of files but we are looking specifically uh, for this sp.exe uh, file as this is the driver's file so uh, once again uh, most probably you're gonna find it on d disk so just uh, search for d column and then uh, input uh, sp press tab to autofill the name and then just press enter to run this driver file on your computer you're gonna see this window on your screen at this point you can close the cmd window at this uh, point click next read and accept the license agreement then click next again then click next uh, uh, wait until the drivers are downloaded and installed and at this point you will see the list of available networks on your screen so now you can actually connect to the internet if you don't have the if you di uh, didn't have any ethernet driver uh, ethernet cable with you okay so at this point once you see the networks on this list select the network that you want to connect to if you want to connect to it automatically hit this checkbox uh, to connect automatically then click connect and then enter the security key or password to this network and click next to confirm and wait until the network requires uh, requirements are checked then click next and let's wait until windows checks for updates uh, after that this pc will most likely restart uh, so let's wait until that happens to go to the next step Okay, and once your device is restarted, uh, you can name your device by entering the name into this field, if you can see it. But you can skip this step for now, and I highly recommend doing it, and then renaming your device in settings. But for now, let's click skip for now, and then just let's uh, wait until Windows prepares, installs, and downloads all the updates that it found for your PC, which is gonna take a while, so make sure that your device is plugged into the power source, and... Uh, make sure that it has an, uh, a stable internet connection uh, throughout this process so now let's wait what it says to us okay uh, so right now windows is gonna find some updates then download and install them and it will take approximately around half an hour so uh, right now just leave your pc and wait until this process is finished Okay, so the next step after the updates are downloaded and installed is signing into your Microsoft account. To do that, click sign in in the bottom right corner of the screen, then input your Microsoft email or phone number. Then click next to confirm and then enter. Uh, then you're gonna receive either receive an uh, a code on your ma uh, on your mail uh, which you're gonna have to enter after you click send code or otherwise you can use your password by clicking right here and then entering the password to your account and once you answer enter the password to your Microsoft account click sign in and wait for a while until you are signed in and then let's create a pin code for this uh, PC to do that first enter a new pin code then confirm it into the next field and then click OK to confirm After that, you'll be able to choose some privacy settings for your device. Uh, 
as you can see uh, here we have location find my device or uh, diagnostic data uh, inking and typing and download experiences and also advertising id uh, so uh, basically a uh, location lets you get location based experiences like direction with so weather uh, news etc find my device lets you find your device uh, easy easier if you have lost it or it is stolen the diagnostic data collects your data about your browsing and uh, websites you use and uh, apps and features and then uh, sends all the data about it to microsoft for research if you want to turn it off just switch the stuckle to the left and uh, for uh, inking and typing features uh, it's the same thing but it uh, collects data about your uh, typing uh, on your keyboard and also sends it to microsoft to improve the language recognition models so if you want to switch it off just uh, switch the toggle to, to the left and tell your experiences and advertising id basically just personalize ads for you so uh, switch off the privacy settings that you don't need and then click accept once you're content with your choice then just wait for a while okay and right now if you want to synchronize uh, your uh, Microsoft account with the existing uh, with the existing system uh, then you can click continue or if you want to set this device as a new device uh, then click more options right here and then click set up as a new PC then to c confirm again set up as a new PC and then uh, just wait for a couple of minutes Then if you want to customize your experience, uh, then uh, so select one of the available presets, but you don't have to do it, do it now. You can do this later uh, in settings, which I also highly recommend you doing. Uh, right now, let's cl uh, click skip and go to the following step. Uh, now, uh, if you want to use your phone from the PC, choose your device to get started and proceed by the following steps that you're gonna see on your screen. And if you want to do this later in settings, just click skip. Now, if you have an iPhone, then uh, you can skip too, because you're not gonna be able to do this right now. And if you want to back up your photos, uh, you're gonna have to scan the QR code you will see on the following in the following window. Uh, once again you can do this all also do this in settings uh, so i'm gonna skip this step too and let's go to the fi final steps uh, if you want to synchronize your browsing, browsing data just click accept otherwise click not now and proceed to the following step uh, if you now we got some uh, ad from microsoft uh, to decline it click right here uh, then uh, to decline your uh, additional storage proposition offer from Microsoft click decline right here then click next and th the last thing is the final ad from Microsoft to the PC game pass for 12, 12 bucks a month to skip it skip it so just click skip for now and then let's wait until the setup process is finished okay and that's basically it right now we have finished the setup process uh, of the windows 11 on this computer so that's basically it for this video if it helps you please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one